the trend in seed production nowadays is very much to rely on a very small number of big crop varieties uh, and not to save seed from the smaller vegetable varieties and there's been a lot of loss of genetic diversity in uh, food plants um, just over the last hundred years or so. The healthier seeds are the seeds that have been saved and organically produced. There's been a lot of studies in the area of genetic manipulation of seeds. Genetically modified seeds will not reproduce. And what are we doing to ourselves with the stuff that's being genetically modified? So many people know where their food's coming from, but they have no idea where their seeds are coming from. I'm looking to start my own farm and hopefully my own seed operation. And the idea of being able to collect all of your own seeds to grow your food year after year is the epitome of sustainable farming. I am the seed saver and gardener here at the Heirloom Seed Sanctuary of the Sisters of Providence of St. Vincent de Paul. And so what I do is to save seeds from the garden. We have a collection of seeds and so my job is to grow those seeds, that collection. And then also to educate, to, to teach people how to save seeds in their own gardens because that's a skill that's largely been lost. So my two ministries, to the plants and to the people. One of the newer ministries we have in the congregation is the Heirloom Seed Sanctuary and the um, seed saving that goes on in the gardens that we have. And it, it really did come, I think, from one person, Sister Jeanette Philsot, who saw that something had to be done to show that we are not separate from the earth but we are part of the universe and part of creation and it seemed right that we should start this ministry. The Heirloom Seed Sanctuary came out of our chapter of 1994. One of the dreams we had was moving into our back field and starting organic gardening there. And so we built them the greenhouse that's attached to the back of the garage. Then Carol and Robert Moak came along as well and uh, said, well, you've got the greenhouse, we've got the seeds, can we do something together? The Moaks, they had 400 some varieties of seeds and the seeds were homeless. You just can't put them in your cupboard. You have to grow them out and we lose them. They're dead, they're gone. So they gave them life. Aren't they beautiful? So it was kind of an evolution that happened. We started doing some teaching in our spirituality center about how to save seeds. And then we renovated our 100-year-old barn, and it became not just a place to store the seeds. The whole top of the barn was the place where the seeds could be dried. We're in the Heirloom Seed Sanctuary barn uh, currently where the seeds end up. So normally I start the tour just outside the barn and then the first stop is the greenhouse. In the early spring, um, late winter, we take seeds out of the seed room and we take them to the greenhouse and start them. And then we move from the greenhouse to the gardens where the plants are grown out. So, uh, the seed collection consists of 300 different varieties, mostly vegetables. We do have almost 100 tomato varieties and uh, 68 varieties of beans. We do also have cucumbers and melons and peas and radishes and cabbages and onions. So the whole gamut. Uh, there are a few flowers and herbs that are included largely for pollinators but the, the vast majority of the, of the seed collection are vegetables and they are maintained to be as viable and full of life as possible. They're kept cool and dry and dark, but the idea is that anyone can keep seeds this way in a closet or a seed room. The Mokes needed to retire in 2008. And so when this position was advertised, I applied for it. I moved my whole family to Kingston for this job. The ministry of the Heirloom Seed Sanctuary is twofold. 
The first part is to save the seeds in the collection that Carol and Robert uh, brought with them. And the second part is to minister to human beings who wish to learn to save seeds in their own right, in their own gardens. The way we define the word heirloom is a variety that has been or is worthy of being passed down through generations. So even while they were here, Carol and Robert Moak did develop a couple of new varieties that, uh, that are worthy of being passed down through generations. So though they may not be very old, they are, they are worthy. We're growing seeds, which we can then give to community gardeners and, uh, and local food providers to grow food with, uh, which they can then share with uh, underprivileged folks who may not have their own land, may not be able to afford to eat healthy whole foods. The sisters have actually developed a lovely little list of the reasons to save heirloom vegetables, heirloom seeds. And included on that list is variety and diversity of usage. So we have in our tomato collection alone, we have paste varieties for canning, we have a stuffing variety that is hollow. We have varieties that are small enough to pop in your mouth in one shot and varieties that are really big to cut up and put on your sandwich. We have yellow, orange, green, red, white tomatoes. We have stripy tomatoes. It's really important to keep that diversity, I think. It's fun and it's tasty and I think we're going to find that it's much more nutritious. We have divorced the idea of seed from food. The sisters are part of a movement to really reunite seeds with food. We don't have one without the other. 